So, one rider here with what promises to hopefully be a new project, although not an easy one. This is hopefully going to be my first, although maybe not last, depending on how it turns out, steel buckler. As you can see, it's fairly thick steel plate. Makes a nice sound when you dig it. And what I was doing was simply cold working it, using the ball peen to give it the boss. Now, I may not be able to give it the deepest boss in the world, so I may have to have a handle that kind of bows out a little. But I am going to keep working at it more, try to give it more of the boss. And then all I'm going to have to do is make sure this part's flat, trim the edges. This was cut out with a torch. Trim the edges so it's nice. Maybe round them or roll them, maybe just edge it with something. And then drill holes for a grip and put a grip on and got my buckler. So um, this is this promises to be a hell of a lot more durable than any wooden ones. And uh, it is not light. So there we go. Just uh, a little bit of a project out of the I want to point out the importance of ear protection, okay? If you're hammering in a garage or anything like that, I honestly think old-time blacksmiths were deaf. So, yeah, it might pay to wear ear protection. Just thought. This gets really loud. So, there we go. That's the uh, start of a homemade steel buckler.